Today's video is how to calibrate the controls on your TX16S. So let's get started. Calibrating the controls on a TX16S can be done for a few reasons. One, the sticks are moving full range and not moving between 100% and negative 100%. Two, is you have the controls not responding correctly, as in they don't move both ways. And three, the controls are not centering properly and they're at a different position and not in the middle of all the axis, up, down, left, and right. So let's go into the calibration menu and we'll go through a few things. And I'll also show you a couple of tips that way you can calibrate it properly so you don't run into post issues after calibration. First thing we need to do is go into the system menu, the hardware tab, and then that'll take us to the calibration screen. Push system on the left side. Push the hardware tab up top, which is the little icon with the wrench. Scroll down to inputs and then calibration. And this menu is where you'll see if you do have issues and it's be a good idea to calibrate your controls is if your centers are not corresponding properly, such as this right stick, it's in the center and this sticks moving around or it's positioned in a different place. And the same thing with your sliders and your pots. This shows the left stick, right stick, left slider, S1 pot, S2 pot, and the right slider. So it says at the top, press enter to start. So we're gonna go in and push enter. Then it says center sticks, pots, and sliders. The only one that I actually need to center this one on the left because all the other ones are in the center. The sliders have detents and so does the S1 and S2 pot at the top. Push enter. Move axis, pot, sliders, and press enter. Now when you're moving the axis, which is the sticks, you want to make sure when you move it to the furthest point, you just want to barely touch the stop. If you put too much pressure on it, then it's going to cause it to overread and that's where you get those extra values into the radio and what will happen is like instead of going to 100% it will go to like 98% because you're not giving it that extra push. So basically all I'm telling you is just be careful when you're calibrating the sticks just barely touch the endpoints. Don't put a bunch of pressure on it. So we've done the right stick. Let's do the left stick. And you'll notice I do it in a four position movement up down left and right i don't move it to the corner like this right here i go up down left and right and i feel like that will allow you to calibrate them easiest and keep you from pushing hard against the stops of the gimbal so now we've done the sticks let's do the right slider let's do the right pot And again, you move it both ways. And I always take them back to center. Do the left slider. And you'll notice that they actually move on the screen. And we'll do the S1 pot. And you'll notice that one kind of jumped on the screen there. It's because it hadn't been calibrated properly or hasn't been calibrated before. Now we're going to push enter. And it says calibration completed at the top. That's when you know you're done with the entire process and you can back out to the main menu. You found this video informative or learned something new? Go ahead and push like down below. To see future TX16S tutorial, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one.